Hello and welcome back to Relaxing Wood Shop. This is it. This is the final hurdle. The final hurdle. That only took 11 seconds. I was, I was trying to remember if it's from the video last week. Like, yes. I, no, no, we've got a name. Don't worry. We've got our names. Our, our names. Why, mm. David? I whispered. <laughs> Did I forget that one? Yeah. <laughs> so, folks, yes. Uh, thank you so much for watching us through all these videos. This is the final one. It's been a lot harder than we first thought because remember, not only is it heavy solid wood, but it's made out of solid wood and reclaimed uh, worktops. Reclaimed worktops. So it takes a bit of messing about and wiggling and jiggling. So this is going to be a very fast moving video this week, okay, guys? Because there is so much to do. We are actually finding once you get to the wee intricate bits, there's a lot more to do, and then you find something else to do, and then you find something to do. So, anything else? Nothing else? No? No, we're all good? Let's get going. And this week we're bringing Gemma back on. Hi, guys! Um, Gemma's going to tack up her horse, but that's a very large tacking. Yeah, well, you told me you wanted me to put the bridle on the horse, so I thought I'd bring a bridle. <laughs> I think I might this be doing another one. <laughs> yeah, I might have to make one. Well, as every week, I have my little armrest. Yeah, and you're not doing your job. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>
guys, now me and Glue is not great, but we're going to do the first part and we're going to get the eyeball into the actual horse itself. So a wee bit of instant adhesive. The glue itself goes on, the button goes in, and I'm going to hold that for 10 seconds and then we'll be able to release and that'll be the first part of the, the eye done. Okay guys, so this is where I completely put the hands up and hand the reins over to Gemma. Go for it Gemma. Hi guys, okay, so we're going to start with putting the bridle on the horse. Now we're going to use a wee bit of artistic license here because it's only a small uh, horse and doesn't need as much leather. So the first thing we're going to work on is the nose band. Okay. Okay, so Dave, this is where I'm probably going to need you to help me. And does this require glue? Yes, this, so this requires, requires glue. requires me sticking me and to every other part. Yes. <laughs> it's just so that I don't stick myself to myself. Fair enough. Okay, let's do that. So um, we're just measuring how much uh, leather we need here. Okay, now I've, I've marked it with my finger and we're going to give that a wee cut. Okay. It's not. This isn't the case where, here's one we made earlier, we're actually doing this as a show record. Live. Okay, so Dave. Yep, talk to me. Can, I need you to glue you just in the back there and make sure I've got the so leather the right way me? around. Yep, okay. So okay. let me check you've got that. That is that is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't need I to want touch. it to be taut at the front. Right, okay. So then if you take that back out, and yep. then I will then glue both of these. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a wee nub here. Like so. We know there it's so. out. Now we've got 10 seconds once this goes in, Gemma, ready? Right. So I'm going to pass this to you there. You hold that. And then I'm going to spray in here. Go for it. Now this is where I will... Okay. And this is where we wait. should be you. Yeah, that's good stuff, really isn't it? Well. No, but almost heard it like yeah. that. So do you think we should then put two wee, or what do you think, yeah. one of so them? next we need to have something to keep the nose band on. So right. we're going to do a headband. Perfect. Which will come across the top of the horse's head. Yeah. From here. Mm -hmm. So just, we don't want it. We don't want to blind him. So we need to stay clear of his wee eye. And down to here. So oh, and then you're going to put one of the wee. Yeah. Ah, very good, very it. good, very good. Okay. So I'm just checking. Um, there we go. Okay, so we'll cover the bite there. Okay. And that should be. There we go. Oh, and while that was recording, I'm standing here looking like this, and I've glued myself <laughs> to my t shirt. <laughs> Typical me. I always glue to something, Christopher, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is where. Oh yes, yes, right there. That's good. That's it. Now. Okay, there so we... this is where we have to start kneeling, tacking. So, Dave, do you want to tack or do you want to hold? It? And where you th so you think of putting that yeah, right there? Yeah, just so that it's joining the nose band. See how trusting I am that I'm letting him. And then go here, do you think? Is that there? You want it there? Yeah. Put pressure on it to get it through there first. Get it through the leather. Touch it into the wood. And if I do have enough strength. No, I don't. So then we'll tap it in. It's a very nice looking hammer, Dad. Where did you that? My son made that for me in secondary school many, many moons ago. It's a very nice hammer. I'm jealous that I don't have one. There's a hint, Christopher. <laughs> That's pretty perfect there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. As the cameraman nearly stuff. knocks the whole thing off the table. Let's focus on the film. Focusing on the film. That's right, keep filming, Christopher. And for guys that don't know, we are about one and a half miles away from where they're currently filming the brand new movie, Dungeons and Dragons, in the Carrick Fergus Castle. Okay, so we're just looking at the reins now. We have it tacked in on one side mm -hmm. and we want it to be at a nice length where it's going to be loose enough for the reins to just sort of sit on top of the saddle but not look too tight. So we reckon that this is where we need it to be. 
So I'm going to measure it. I do everything by eye, if you haven't noticed. Um, to here, where I've marked it with my finger. And although I'm very right-handed, I'm going to attempt to cut this with my left hand. Sorry where the noise is going on. I'm just locking it off in the background because just he's sliding about a wee bit there. I can't cut with my left hand. Let me hold that. You go ahead. Nails. Well, it's marked now, so it just shows you how right-handed I am. Okay, so now, Dave. Yes. This is where we need you to. If Do I the hold, same thing again. We can tack. Hold it there, and then I dislocate my finger here by squeezing as hard as I can into the solid wood. What's your reckon to eat, eh, honey? Hey, <laughs> and then might even get you up the list of it. What's your wee fingies? There we go. Look at that! Perfect. Okay, I think that's a good job. Do you know what? What about we put a couple of those wee silver tacks just round there yeah. to show the outline? High out the saddle. High out the saddle. That's I the word totally we use. Agree. So let's do that. Right. Okay, guys. Tip of the week. Uh, one of the team members has suggested this because on the other side we did a first test and I must have thumped my finger six times. So get an eel. Gemma, where do you want me to go? Okay, so um, you want to start with a V to work out your midway point. So if you put one up here, up there. So yes, I just get in the just middle. there. Yep, that's perfect. So we'll get the ooh, we'll get the wee hammer. See, look, 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 Gemma. Would you like me to tighten that for you? That's because you're using the bronze end on the hard oh steel. So we use the silver end. Yeah, so silver ends for steel. So there's one. For okay, and then another one. Say about here. There, just there. Did I interrupt you there? We were talking, Christopher. You recommend that. Two. Okay, so then you want your midway point at the bottom, so somewhere about here. There, okay. Okay. Okay, so then you need to find your midway point halfway between. So it's probably going to be about here or here. Let's go there then. Yeah. And then another one here. Just there. And then we'll change that to these and give them a wee push to help them to get started. And then one. Oh, thank you, Jenna. We'll move to that one and we can come back to that one. There we go. Two. Three. Oh, thank you. Oh. Finally, yes. Hey, hey, hey. Slippy sucker. I'll give this another tap for some reason. I'm hitting something very hard in there. I hope I'm not in the knot. I think I might be on the knot in there, but let's see how we get on. How's that? Well, folks, there we have it for another week of the relaxing wood shop. And as you can see, it is finally finished. The hurdle has been jumped. The horses came through. Now, we said we would name the horse. I have decided to name it um, after a, a friend who passed away a number of years ago. He named his horse Guinness, and he always took it everywhere he went. So I'm going to name the horse Guinness the Rocking Horse. Did I got Guinness nice. the Rocking Horse? Yeah. 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 Yes. Very nice. So, anything you want to say, Roger? Uh, one for luck. One for luck. Gemma, one for luck. Yeah! <laughs> See you next week on the Relaxing Wood Shop. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.